hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's me blessing and how are you all doing hope you are doing okay so guys if you are new in this channel you are highly welcome please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell down below so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified this channel is where i share a pattern drafting and a sewing tips okay so guys in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to cut this gun i put on now and this is uh, a bustier with a yoke so guys if you want to know how i made this if you want to know how i draft this pattern you definitely keep on washing so guys i've already draft how to cut this bustier with yoke if you have not watched that, I will just drop the link on the description box so that you, just, you can just go there and watch it so that you will understand what we are doing. So now, I've, so guys, I've transferred to the main fabric and I use the, the pattern to transfer to the main fabric I'm working with, which is the lace. And you know, a lace, you will need to add a wadi to it. So I went ahead to add my seam allowance. To the the that area okay and i went ahead to add seam allowance to the side as well so i also cut out my wording for the bustier parts for the uh, side that is the side okay then i did the same thing this is the but i did the same thing to the the center front as well i cut out a wording to it this is the ST I will use to pad that pad my bustier, and this is the yoke. Okay, I double it and I added half an inch on the bottom part. Okay, so this is the down part of the skirt. Okay, the skirt I add I cut out the what this door face. So guys, you know this is a lace, and you 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 will need one to cover. The lace, then you use a lining to cover it up again. So I went ahead to cut out four. So I will use one to cover up the lace and use the other one to do uh, do my lining. I don't know if you understand me. So the next thing I will be doing, I will just go ahead to pad my uh, what my door face. So I've done that, I've pad my door face, and I went ahead to ironed my wording to it as well just the way you see it okay so this is the back part i just ironed my estate to the back part so now i will bring out my lace and bring the door face i will match the wrong side with the right side of the door face together just the way you see me doing so i will pin them down so that when when i'm sewing it will not be disturbing me or shifting here and there. So guys, I just went ahead to pin it down. Okay. So guys, the next thing I will be doing here is that I will just merge this center front and the side together. And merge it very well and sew half an inch on them. Okay. I will take it to my sewing machine now and do that. So guys, I've done that. You can see how it is. You can see the bust area. You can see the inside as well. So I will just go ahead to notch the under bust. Okay. I can, I will just notch it so that it will give me that uh, bust area. Bust, I don't know if you understand me. It will relax very well. So I will just open it up and iron it very well. So guys. I've done that and this is how it looks like after I've done it. So you can see the inside. I've opened it up and I gave it a very good press. Okay. So this is how it looks like. So guys, I've done that to the lining as well. Okay. So guys, the next thing I will be doing here is to bring out my, my yoke. Then you remember I said I cut two of it. Then I will place these two together. Then after placing, I'll make sure they are light together. You know, these uh, nets, they are kind of stressful. 
so i'll just take it to my sewing machine and sew so guys i've sewn these two together and i gave it a good press so the next thing i'll be doing is to insert this yoke to the bustier part i don't know if you understand just the way you see me doing i will just first of all pin it down i will first of all pin it down before i will take it to my sewing machine and sew it so guys after pinning i will bring out the lining and place it just the way i place the the net okay i will place it accordingly too then i will also pin it down then i will take it to my sewing machine and sew it i will also do that to the back side as well i will bring out the the lace fabric then and the door face so i will bring the lace wrong side meeting the satin right side okay so guys i've done that and this is how it looks like after sewing so i want the the this, this the side to relax very well after and so what i will do is that i will bring out my so guys i'll just go ahead to add my hemi gum on it so that i will iron it so that that part that place there will look very relaxed i don't know if you understand me i will add my hemi gum on that part that i sew then i will close it and iron it just just look at the way i'm doing it here i will add my hemi gum like so then i will close it and iron it that will give me a very nice part it will give me a very nice and neat work okay so guys i've done that i've ironed it with my hemi gum and you can see the lining inside will relax very well so guys the lining inside will just relax very well it will not be shifting here and there you can see it because the lining and the lay fabric they are glued together so guys the next thing i will be doing here is that the the back as well i've done that you can see the back you see how neat it is it will not be coming out or it will not be shifting okay so guys the next thing i will be doing here i will just go back to my sewing machine then on the side i will sew it half an inch i will sew it on the side okay i will sew the both side so for the back for my zipper allowance i will also sew it with half an inch okay then i will also sew the side as well i will do it i will open it like this then i will run a stitch i will run a stitch on it okay then for the side i will run a stitch as well then i will turn it over so guys i've done that you can see it i've done it and i ironed it very well so guys i went ahead to trim out the excess that i have on the down part you can see if you have any excess you are free free to trim it off okay so you can see how neat the upper part is okay so that is that you can see the front part so i just did the same thing to the back as well so this is how it looks like so due to the sleeve that i want to add i want ahead to create close the half of the ham hole okay so that the remaining part i will use to insert this uh, the sleeve okay you will understand later okay as we are going you will understand when i want to fix this sleeve so guys the next thing i will be doing here is i will bring out the damp parts then i will bring the lace i'm working with so i will place wrong side of the door face meeting right side of the lace fabric okay then i will take it to my sewing machine and sew the side with half an inch okay before i will turn it over i don't know if you understand me okay i will sew it and sew my dart as well i will sew the side and sew my my so i will do the same thing to this the back as well okay so guys this is what i am explaining earlier i sew the the side and i ironed it i sew my darts i ironed it as well and i tested the upper part 
I to stitch the upper part, okay? So I did the same thing to the back as well. I sew the two sides, the lining and the main fabric, the lace together. Then I turn it over and ironed it. Then I also ironed my dart as well. So the next thing I will be doing here is that I will place the right side and the wrong, the left side of the back. Okay, the right side and the left side of the back. I will place it together like so. So then, after I place it, I will mark where I will insert my zip, my zipper allowance. Then from the waist, I come down by nine inches. Okay, that is where my zipper we end from the waist i come down by nine inches okay so guys i will now go ahead to mark it pin it i will pin it down so from there and that will be my zipper uh, allowance where i will insert my zip okay so now what i will do next is i will measure where my slit will end okay from there i measure where i will start my slits okay that is where i will start my slit from there i, ma I mark 15 inches then i i pin it also then i come in by one inches because i gave one inches seam allowance for my zipper okay then i will just mark my zipper allowance okay i will, I will take it to my sewing machine then i will sew one inches like so so guys, I've done that and I open it up and ironed it very well, okay? I, o I open it and I ironed it very well. So guys, the next thing I will be doing here is that I will bring out the upper parts, okay? And mash the two together, the upper and the down parts. This is the front part. So I mash the front, the upper front and the down part. Part. So I'll take it to my sewing machine and run a stitch by half an inch, okay? Half an inch. I will do the same thing to the back as well, okay? So guys, I've done that. I've stitched the upper and the lower part together. This is how it looks like after stitching, okay? So this is the back as well. I've done that. I've done that. I've added my upper and the lower part together as well okay so this is how it looks like as next thing i will be doing here is i will place this one this back part flat like so then i bring out the front part and align the two together very well so i will make sure i align the two very well the next thing i will be doing is to fix my shoulder okay I will use the back to wrap the yoke. I will use the lining of the back to wrap the yoke, okay? Then I will close with one inches, okay? I will close it with one inches. Then I've closed my body, the began with one inches. I gave one inches same allowance. Then I use that the same one inches to close it up, okay? This is how it looks like when I close it, okay? So guys, the this is the other parts that I close. So for the for the front part, this is the front. Okay, this is the front part. So that is how it looks like. Okay. So now for the shoulder, look at how it is. Okay, you can see how neat it is. You can see the front and the inside. Is very neat okay you can do yours like so as well okay so that is that is how it looks like so guys the next thing i will be doing is to insert my zip zipper allowance this zip so guys i've insert my zip this is how it looks so i so guys this is how the back will be looking like this is the slits the slits okay you can see the slits on it so guys, this is the front part. You can see how beautiful it is. Okay, you can try this out. So guys, the next thing I will be doing is to insert my sleeve. Okay, I will drop the link on how to make that sleeve on the 
description box down below you can go there and watch it okay so after inserting this is the outcome of the gun guys if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload the video thanks bye see you in my next one